He is Matt Eberflus, the Chicago Bears head coach, and he joins us here on Sports Spectrum. Hi, Coach. How you doing today? I'm good. It's good All to right. have you here. We get to tape an interview in person. Uh, we're at Tony Dungy's event here in Minneapolis, uh, Minnesota. Uh, Kevin Warren, somebody you're now working with with the Bears, uh, is being honored. And so we have a chance to kind of talk, and I thought this is, this is great to talk to a head coach in the NFL who has grinded for many years as an assistant. You just finished your first year. So let me ask you that first to start. What is a lesson or lessons that God maybe showed you as you went through that first season right. with the Bears as a head coach? Well, I mean, you know, in football and certainly NFL football, there's there's definitely adversities, you know, and you have to be able to sit back and uh, take things in and see the landscape of your football team. And I think that's important. And certainly last year we had adversities and uh, the guys, you know, hung together and really from the core principles of the Lord and uh that to me is so important, and uh, one of the biggest things we talk about is modeling behavior. So uh, leaders of the team, coaches of the team, we want to do that every single day, and that, that really comes from the Lord. You mentioned the Lord a couple times there. Where does that come from? Where does your faith kind of take shape and you know, maybe even share your testimony of how Christ became Lord of your life? Yeah, yeah, no doubt. So um, I was raised uh, uh, Eastern Orthodox, so Orthodox Christian. And uh, I was an altar boy growing up, mm. and that was awesome. And I was at the, uh, you know, Toledo, Ohio for 29 years of my life, and then uh, started to move around. I became the defensive coordinator at Missouri. Then I jumped to the pros. Yep. Uh, been in the pros like for 14 years now. And somewhere along the uh, along the way, you know, because you're going from city to city, you know, you you quit going to church. You know, you you th things like that happen, and all of a sudden you lose connection. And in 2015, the hounds of heaven came after me and said, nope, you're going to be, you're one of ours hmm. and uh, you're going to stick with us. And I just dived into it. And uh, my whole life I was studying, you know, football, of course, and I was studying military history, but I never really studied the man Jesus. Hmm. I never studied him. And I just said, I'm diving into it. And I dove into it. I went to the Barnes and Noble. I walked up to the religious section and I stopped me dead in my tracks. And I looked up at the book, uh, and the book called uh, So You Want to Be Like Christ by Chuck Swindoll. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I read that. And I've read multiple number of his books. And I just started journaling uh, my walk as I, as I started going through the Bible. And about seven years ago, I started doing the one-year Bible. So I've done it seven times now. Wow. And uh, so that's where it's been. And it's remarkable um, how he clean, you know, cleanses you and how you change from the inside out. And you can affect other people. I hooked up with Coach Dungy and his coaches fellowship uh, about that same time, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've got a lot of really good mentors. Tony's one of them. And uh, it's been great. The hounds of heaven. That was the words that you used. Yes. I, with, with whatever you're willing to share, describe what you mean by that when the hounds of heaven. And did you just have like sort of an identity crisis at that moment? Is that what was taking yeah, place? Yeah, it was just really like there's got to be more. You know, I was in, yeah. you know, a very good football coach, of course. And, you know, I was a, I was a good dad and, you know, all those things. But um, there had to be something more than yeah. just football. And, and you know, it, you know it, it was the Lord. And mm. the Lord was coming after me and said he was drawing me near to him. I could feel that. Mm. And I just dove right into it. You had Frank Reich uh, as a head coach for a couple of years. Yeah. And I know, I mean, he went to seminary. So you're talking to a pastor, basically, who's your head coach. How much of an influence was he? He was great. Uh, what Frank taught me was you can be yourself. You can be a Christian man in the building and be the same guy every day. And uh, you don't have to put on any other, any other skin. You can yeah. just be with the Lord the entire time. It, it really simplified things for me. Hmm. We're talking to Matt Eberflus from the Chicago Bears here on Sports Spectrum. How does learning about Christ, learning about the man Christ, now influence you in the role that you have today? I mean, you, you, really, you can really sum it up. It's uh, emotional stability, uh, how to have self-control, um, how, how to uh, really be yourself, you know, and, and be one with him. And that, to me, is... is such an easy way to live life, but it's also a difficult way because what he does is he shows you truth. And I think the closer you get to God, the more truth you see. And sometimes it's revealing and you have to get on your knees and pray and say, Lord, uh, you know, I want to be like you and please take this, this part away from me, please, because it's not, that's not right. Yeah. And um, that's the walk you have every day, you know, it's take up your cross. And that to me is so important. And there's so many eyeballs watching you, right? As the head coach, it's probably really easy to fall into the trap of, 
oh, I got to carry this burden. This all falls on me. I would imagine that that's an easy trap to fall into. Yeah, it, it is. But I think when you're walking with the Lord, he kind of reveals things to you and shows you where it's going. And uh, our, our call is really to bring others to Christ. You know, it's discipleship, right? Yeah. And, uh, you know, and lead like Jesus. And that's, that's what we're trying to do. So you have Kevin Warren here being honored with this uncommon award. You have Coach Dungy writing the book, really, the playbook on living a life of uncommon. So when I say that word to you now, where you are today, what's that mean to you? You know, it's it's everything. And I got two great examples, you know, and Kevin and Tony uh, to really, uh, you know, talk to, visit with, you know, about how to do it the right way. And uh, you certainly see that through the course of those guys' career. Um, and, and the impact they've had on lives. And I, I think that's so, uh, so, such a great example for me uh, to work hand-in-hand hand with Kevin now on a day-to-day -day basis. And, of course, uh, uh, having Tony as a mentor. He uh, mentioned last night, and I know you mentioned as well at the dinner we were at, about the importance of discipleship. Because as a head coach, you're pouring into so many others, right? Everybody's looking to you for guidance and leadership. But it's important for you to stay filled as well. So Bible studies, discipleship, what does that look like for you in and out of season? Yeah, it's, it's, it's important. You know, we have Bible studies. We have a great pastor, Teddy, in our building. Uh, he's done an outstanding job. We're going through First John right now. Mm -hmm. um, we go every other week in the off season. During this season, we're every week. Yeah. Um, and we'll pick out a book in the Bible and just study it. And uh, typically, it's married with uh, the players. The players are doing it every Thursday. Um, so we think it's important to bring that uh, into our facility. And having a Bible study during a season, I'm just imagining when you're facing adversity and when you're trying to game plan for the next week, that it, you might even find moments when you're like, eh, can I just skip this so I can get into the game plan? But that's not how it is for you it sounds like it's it's a really important part no, of the first, being a head coach yep that's that's the first thing you know it's you know you know in Matthew 22 you know 37 through 39 it says love the Lord with all your heart and all your soul and uh, the second thing is to love your neighbor as yourself so um, that to me are the two most com uh, most important commandments and that's how we're going to live he is Matt Eberflus my last question for you kind of when you're in the season of life and I asked this to Kevin Warren and I've asked this to many guests on this podcast uh, the great lesson that you learned last year you talked about, but what's the great lesson maybe right now as you get ready for the 2023 season and it's going to be here before we know it, uh, a lot of excitement around the Chicago Bears this year uh, to improve from last year. What's the lesson that God is teaching you right now? Yeah, to bring these guys together, you know, mm -hmm. so it's uh, to me it's all about uh, respect. When you respect your fellow man, um, the way you speak, the way you act, the way you talk to each other is so important. And to me, that's about building relationships. Um, and everybody says that, but you have to put time on task. Um, you can't just say, hey, just, I want you guys to hang out. You know, so we're going to spend a lot of time getting to know each other. Um, we have a lot of new guys on our football team this year with a young core that we had from last year. Yeah. And it's our charge as players and coaches and staff members to bring those guys together. Yeah. Excitement, right? Yeah, it is. It's, it's an exciting Great opportunity. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. He is Matt Eberflus with the Chicago Bears. Hey, thanks for the time. Yeah. Uh, hopefully we'll get you back on again soon and uh, keep doing what you're doing. Yep. Thanks for having me on.